With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Consider a sort bar magnet forming a magnetic dipole enclosed by a imaginary coaxial cylindrical surface with circular base area. Magnet is at the middle of the cylinder. If the magnetic flux through one of the circular base is phi naught, then flux through the out other circular base. So if you see this line, it is placed at the middle of the cylinder symmetrically. So if I draw the case, like uh, let's say this is a cylinder. And in the cylinder, uh, at the middle, a bar magnet is kept. It is said in the question. So this is the cylinder. And if I make a bar magnet exactly at the middle, like this. So what will happen here? Let's say this is the north pole and this is the south pole. So the field line that will originate from this north pole will terminate to this south pole like this so if you see here there will be the flux through the circular region and uh, this one surface surface to this curve part surface 3 this part right so as I was saying that the flux that will enter through this north pole will terminate to this south pole. And we want the flux through this circular surfaces. So if I write down the net flux, so as you can see, as I told you, the magnetic field line entering from the north pole will also terminate to the south pole and this magnet is completely enclosed. So net flux in from this uh, south pole will be also equals to the net plus uh, flux out through this north pole and net flux here will be 0 and it will be equals to phi 1 plus phi 2 plus phi 3. So if you see the phi 2 flux right Phi 2 is the flux through this curve path. So if you see this uh, curve surface, right? So it is placed at the middle. Symmetrically placed. Here the magnet is symmetrically placed. So, if the magnet is symmetrically placed, what will happen? The number of field line that will uh, exit through this uh, north pole and that will also enter to the south pole. It means that, let's say the line is 1. This line is 1. This one line is also terminating at the south pole. Let's say this line is 2. This 2 line is also terminating here this right. So whatever line if you see are uh, entering from this uh, north pole is also terminating here. If you see this line. This line is coming like this and also terminates here. Right. And it is said in the question that it is placed exactly at the middle of the cylinder. So all the line that will come from this north pole will terminate to the south pole. So net flux through this two surface will be zero. Right. So what I will say if if I say this is zero, so it will be equals to phi one plus phi three. The flux through the circular surface is zero. Since phi two we already got it will be zero since it is placed at the middle. So as I showed you that each field line that is uh, coming from this uh, north pole is terminating to the south pole. From here you will get this relation. Now it is said that from one of the circular face the flux is this phi naught. Right. Then from the other. So if you see this is the relation. 
if I say this uh, pi 3 is phi naught, then pi 1 will be minus phi naught. They will be opposite of each other. Now, if you see here the option, so C will be the correct option. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.